Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to cover NAs and nulls, so missing values basically inside of R here. Um, to get going though, let's open up a new R script. Again, let's make sure your environment is empty. So if you're following along with my videos, if you hit this little broom up here, it'll empty out all of your variables, right? Sometimes we'll have the same names. We don't want to be using things that we didn't create already. Um, but anyways, today uh, is going to be all about, you know, NAs and null values in R. So what is NA? NA really means um, that it is a missing value here. I'm going to put it in quotes here, right? It's a missing value from a statistical perspective. So let's do an example here, right? So for example, uh, let's say uh, we have a vector of incomes for 10 people, okay? Let's just create these real quick here. So we're gonna create a new variable called income. Um, we're gonna create a vector. It's gonna have 100. So this will be in thousands. So 100,000, 105,000, you know, 23,000, 45,000. We've got a missing person. So we've got an NA here. Uh, we have someone making a crazy 234,000, 63,000, 48,000, 39, and again, one more missing here. So I'll run that, created the variable. So what this means here, again, from a data perspective, right, uh, is we have the income for basically eight people, you know, and two additional people um, it's just missing. So I just, I just don't have that data, right? I still have data for them, but I just don't have their income here. Um, and if this is a real data set here, so if this was real, uh, you might have other variables, you know, so we'd have other variables such as, you know, I don't know, say, let's say total debt. So this is a finance example here, total debt. Um, and we might have other things as well. So, and maybe, maybe we have age, I don't know, we got age on this person too. And so we wouldn't want to... Uh, we wouldn't want to exclude these people from the data set here, right? We wouldn't want to just say, okay, we don't have data on, you know, these two people with NAs, so we're just going to delete them completely, right? Imagine a big data set or a big table here, like an Excel spreadsheet, if you think about it that way. Um, and you have, you know, income and there's two NAs. But I also might have their total debt. I might have their, you know, age. And I might have a bunch of other variables. So, you know, we wouldn't want um, to actually delete them. You know, and who knows, maybe we will infer their income in a later step or something, but we really just don't want to do that. Um, but let's look at income here. So let's look at income. And we're going to do an example and we're going to type in, you know, the mean of income, so this vector, and it outputs NA, right? There's, there's NAs. So it's a missing value. It can't calculate the mean here because there's an NA in the data set. So what are we going to do here, right? We we want to tell, you know, tell R, hey, R, um, ignore the NA values and let's do some actual calculations. So to do this, what we're going to do here is we're going to say, okay, we'll use the same function. We'll do mean, we'll do income, but we'll do a comma now. We're going to say NA.RM, which is NA remove, you hit equals, uh, and you can just do a capital T for true or better practice just to type true all the way out. And then you run that and you can see, okay, the average income is 82.125, again, of these eight people, not the 10 people, because we're gonna actually ignore the two NAs and that's what we just told it to do. Uh, and I'm gonna note here too, so the function, which is gonna be RM, or is gonna be NA RM, this is, you know, NAs remove. Uh, this can be used in a variety of places uh, inside of R. So there are other R functions that will actually use this and you can remove your NAs to do your calculations. Okay, so now let's do another example here. Um, but we're gonna use the example, we're gonna use nulls are used instead of NAs. And let's just say we're gonna use that age variable I was talking about here. So age is going to be equal to, you know, C, which is gonna be the vector here. So 31, 28, null. Um, and let's say 93, 65, 12, 47, 53, 
22 and 18. Okay, so I'll run that. Uh, and now let's, so, you know, now let's get the mean age. So the average, you know, mean, but average here, you know, the average age. Uh, and to do that, we're just going to type in mean, and we're going to type in age, and wow, it gives you 41. Okay, so what happened here? Right? I didn't need the remove, you know, in A's. I didn't need to remove the nulls here. Um, so, you know, R uses, or views, we'll say R views, you know, null values as truly non-existent. So R doesn't even see them there, right? It, it completely ignores that null value. It says, hey, it doesn't even exist. I just calculate, you know, the average of everything because null actually isn't anything inside of that sequence here. So I should make a note here. Okay, NAs, you know, they take on the mode. So, you know, or the data type, we'll call it data type. They take on the data type of the vector or the object that they're inside of here. So I'll give you an example here. So we'll type in uh, mode of income and I'm gonna select the first value here. So if you look up here, here's income, the first value is 100, so that should be numeric. If we run that, it says, okay, it's numeric. If you do mode of income of the 10th value, so again, you go up here, right, 10th value is NA, right? What type of data type is that? It's also numeric. So NAs take on the value of what they're inside of. Okay, and now let's look at the mode here. So we're gonna do, you know, mode, take a look at the mode here um, of age, and we want to do the third one here. So let's look at age here, right? The third one's going to be this null, you know, what type of data type or, you know, value basically is this. Uh, we're going to type in mode age third one. It's going to say numeric. Okay, well, this isn't really true. So I'll explain why here. So, you know, it says numeric, but this isn't true. And I'll show you why here. So what we're going to actually do is we're just going to print out so what is, what is R actually looking at when it's looking at age three? We're gonna print out age three, we're gonna hit enter, and it says 93. So if we go back up here, right? One, two, this is null. It skips null, and it takes the third value, which is going to be 93. So when we asked it what type of data this is, it says 93 is numeric. Uh, when you asked it to print this third value, it gives you 93. Again, R doesn't see null, okay? So we'll just put a note here, you know, R doesn't see null, okay? And, and again here, right? So again, NAs are a missing value in stats. So it's more of a statistics perspective here. So that's why we have NAs and nulls, which are different. Um, but why would you need this here? So the reason you might need a null here is let's say uh, if you wanted to start uh, with an empty, vector here uh, you could use null so null can be used like as a placeholder here so we need it we want to have this empty object that doesn't really exist but it has a variable assigned to it and then we're going to fill that void with different values here so we're going to call it you know empty vector and then you're just going to say okay assign some vector we're going to just fill it with a null we'll enter again here you look at the top right it says empty vector is null and it says in here in R, it's empty. because There's nothing inside of it. There's nothing there. Um, so now if you wanted to fill this, so now we want to fill this vector here. Uh, we can do this with a for loop. So let's just say, you know, for I in, you know, one to 10, um, you know, if yeah, I is gonna be less than eight, you know, empty vector, is gonna get assigned the value, right, empty vector. So we're gonna take this empty vector and we'll take i. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a function here, we're gonna do a for loop, and we're gonna say from one to 10, we're gonna plug it in. Okay, if i is less than eight, so be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we don't include eight here, so one to seven, you know, if those values, so one to seven, you know, they're gonna get plugged into this empty vector. And we're gonna update this empty vector here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically combine them. So we're gonna create a new vector, we're gonna take the empty vector, and we're gonna add i. So what we'd expect to see here is a null empty vector. We'd go through the first loop, we'd add one. Is one less than eight? Yes, okay, if it is, 
then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the empty vector, which is now null and empty, and we're gonna add one to it, and now we'll have empty vector basically having the number one in it. And then we're gonna loop again and do two, it's two less than eight, and we'll add two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we should end up with a vector at the end here that just has one to seven inside. Um, let's run it. And as you can see here, an empty vector up here on the right, right, they're integers, it says there are seven, one to seven values in here, and we can see inside of it, it's one to seven. So exactly what we expected here. So basically the takeaway here for this is, you know, you can now see that we filled an empty vector. So this is an example, you know, of using, using null here. And finally here, let's just prove to ourselves one last thing here about NAs and nulls. If you haven't been convinced yet, um, you know, we can prove uh, the difference here again, right? Doing this multiple times. Um, of NAs and null uh, by looking at their lengths. Okay, so we would expect, you know, a length of a null would be like nothing, non-existent. And we'd expect the length of NAs to actually be the actual length, including the NAs. Um, so let's just do this. So we'll do a null vector here, create this thing called null vector. Uh, we'll put in, you know, what we did before, we'll create a vector, create null. Again, up here on the top right, it says it's empty. And then we'll create an NA vector. Uh, and we'll just fill this, you know, with one NA, hit enter. You know, and now what is the length of the null vector? It says zero, right? There's nothing there, it's zero, it's empty. So this is gonna be zero as expected. And then finally here, what is the length of the NA vector? It says one, okay? So as we expected, right, the length here is one as expected. So that's just a basic summary of the difference between nulls and NAs. Don't get too confused. Again, when you have data sets, uh, statistically you'll want to be using NAs for those missing values. If you need to create empty containers and things, for example, nulls can be useful as I'll kind of represent that there's nothing there, emptiness, kind of this blank container. But again, those are a few uses of NAs and nulls. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, until next time.